Hello and welcome to vlog number 161. The subject dominating the news at the moment is, in case you missed it, coronavirus. Personally, my view is that for the majority of people, it isn't likely to be life-threatening. But for older people, and those who have an underlying medical condition, particularly of a respiratory nature, it is possible that contracting this virus could have more serious consequences. Parkinson's disease can affect even the young, but it is far more prevalent amongst the older generation, so it is quite likely that people with PD could be disproportionately affected. I have always had a tendency to respiratory infection. The mildest of bugs will go straight to my chest and leave me hacking and coughing for weeks after the rest of the household have recovered. I still wheeze occasionally after even mild physical exertion something that never happened prior to my deep brain stimulation operation. It is for these reasons that I am now starting to become a little more concerned about the spread of coronavirus. I don't believe that it's inevitable that I will catch the virus, but I do think that, as the weeks go by, it is becoming more likely than not. I am reluctantly considering that it would be pretty stupid of me to go to Brighton at the end of April to see Joe Bonamassa. My wife bought me tickets for the show for Christmas. So now I'm hoping that, unless the situation improves, the gig is cancelled and rescheduled for later in the year. I'm certainly not panicking. I think that all of these people who have been panic buying toilet rolls need to get a grip on themselves. But I'm definitely a little more concerned than I was a couple of weeks ago. Mind you, I'm virtually self-isolating as it is. I live in a rural area, spend most days on my own inside our house. I'm an habitual hand washer, a consequence of having trained and worked in the food industry, and socialised with just a handful of other people in the village. So I think my odds of catching it are about as low as they could be without putting myself into solitary confinement. People who are on medication, which I'm not, but many people with PDR, may be concerned that over-the-counter medications for colds and coughs can interact with their meds, so you should always check with your doctor or pharmacist before taking them. It's important that you continue to take any medicines prescribed for PD, although if you should miss a dose or two, due to vomiting for example, then this shouldn't cause you any harm. If you have any concerns about your medication, you should always contact your doctor for expert advice. Because we, as people with Parkinson's, do have an underlying health condition, and are, generally speaking, amongst the more senior in our community, it makes good sense to take whatever sensible precautions you reasonably can. The NHS website advises you to stay at home for seven days if you have a high temperature or a new, continuous cough. If you are having trouble coping with your symptoms, or if they worsen or don't improve after seven days, then you should use the NHS 111 online service if you're in the UK. 111.nhs.uk forward slash covid-19 to get further advice. Other than that, wash your hands with soap and water or hand sanitizer gel. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue or your sleeve not your hands when coughing or sneezing. Dispose of used tissues immediately and wash your hands afterwards. Avoid close contact with people that are ill and avoid touching your eyes, nose or mouth. There is no specific treatment for coronavirus. Treatment is to relieve the symptoms while your body fights off the illness. You will need to isolate yourself from other people until you have recovered. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.